Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the C++ series. This time I'm going to teach you about multi-dimensional arrays. Alright guys, so last episode we learned about arrays, which are good for storing multiple um, variables inside of one variable basically. But now I'm going to teach you how to store or how to use multi-dimensional arrays, which are basically a way for you to store arrays inside of arrays. So it gets even more complex, okay? Um, multi-dimensional arrays, okay? So multi-dimensional Oops, multi-dimensional arrays, which are otherwise known as arrays of arrays because basically you're storing an array inside of multiple arrays. You'll see in a second, but so it's more than one. Okay, so just to explain what a multi-dimensional array will look like or what it is basically. So first, let's, let's picture a regular array. Okay, so a regular array is going to look like this. It's going to extend in one direction. So that's going to be one element here. So one element inside of an array. Or in, so let's say we have an array of integers. That's going to be one integer. And let's say we have another. So the more we add, it's just going to extend down the line, right? That's going to be one dimensional. That's just going to be a regular array. But when we make a multi-dimensional array, that's going to have multiple multiple dimensions. So it's going to look something like this. Let me make it bigger here. Um, we can make it something like this maybe where we have, it goes in multiple directions instead of one direction, okay? So this is going to be 2D array, and there can actually be more than one dimension whenever you're working with multi-dimensional arrays, but we're not going to extend into that. But, um, or more than, more than two, I mean, I think I said more than one, but there's going to, there can be more than two dimensions, but we're just going to stick with two dimensions for multi-dimensional multi uh, arrays, okay? So anyway, as you can see here, we have a multi-dimensional array, which extends in two directions instead of just one. So it goes that way and down, okay? So the way this works is you can think of this as a row. So this is the first row and this is the second row. And whenever you're working with multi-dimensional arrays, the first are the rows are gonna be the elements, okay? So remember in a regular array, we're gonna have different elements. In this case, the further down we go, that's what, that's one element, okay? So this is one element and that's the second element. So this would be zero and this would be one, okay? And then inside of each row, um, which is an element, we have an array. So the each so each row has its own array inside of it, basically, okay? So going down, we have two uh, elements, right? So zero and then one. But inside of each of those elements, we have an array. So this will hold zero, one, two. So three elements inside of the array for each row, basically. So it looks something like this. If we were to declare this array, we would do, uh, let's give it a name of uh, int cards. And we'll just say two and, oops, not like that, two and then three, okay? So it's two and three because, of course, we are going down two. So zero, I mean, one, two. So that's just the length of it. And then three because we're going one, two, three across, okay? So this basically means that we have two elements inside of our array. And then each of those elements will have an array inside of it holding three elements itself, okay? So that's basically how that works. You're holding an array inside of an array, okay? Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. So that's how you're going to declare a multi-dimensional array. But let me show you how to initialize it, how to give it some, you know, initial values. You can do something like this. Let's give it a name of into juice. And we'll say juice is going to be the same size. So two, three, so two rows and three columns. And so now we can give it some initial values. So we'll say two, four, one, two, uh, three, three, okay. And that's enough. So just two times three is six. That means there's going to be six elements total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's how you declare it. And so this would look something like this. Um, well, just actually it's the same one as up here, but instead let's fill it in. So two, four, one, and then two, three, three. Okay, so that's that's how that would be made if you were to you know visualize it. That's how it would be represented. But there's actually an easier way to look at this. There are an easy, there's an easier way to initialize this so it's easier to understand what it might look like. So we can do something like this. We'll do int salamander. So let's do three columns this time. And then each of those arrays is going to have, or each of those elements is going to have um, an array with four elements inside of that. So it's going to be three by four. And then if we want to initialize it in a way that's easier to understand, we could open this up here and we just uh, put in the values. Okay. So we're going to have the first column or the first uh, row here. Okay. So the first row is going to have four elements as we know here. So the first one is going to have, we need to make up some numbers here like this, okay? So that's gonna be our first row, and we have two other rows because we have three total, right? So we need two other rows, so let's make another row here. Uh, like this, it's kinda, of, the formatting is a little weird, but anyway, so now we just make up some more numbers, okay? And we can push this forward if you want to, just press tab, like that. And so now let's make our final row here. 
And each of those rows, of course, have four elements inside of them because they are an array inside of an array. So three rows and then four columns. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Just like that. Okay, so that's an easier way to... Um, and so we did it like this because it's easier to visualize. So if we were to picture it something like this, you know, like we did here, it turns into this. And it's kind of hard to understand how it might look like if you have it like this. So you open it up and make it uh, multiple multiple dimensions so it's easier to, easier to look at okay so you don't have to do that if you don't want to but it's easier to visualize so the last thing i want to show you um it's just going to be how to access the um values inside of the multi-dimensional arrays so it's kind of weird because um you know it's, it's different obviously it's multi-dimensional so let's say we want to access the number 51 okay so that would be um so let's try doing that so we'll do c out let's try let's try printing out the value 51 okay so how do we access that so c out salamander and first we need to provide the row, so whatever row 51 is inside of. So that would be one because of course it's zero based, so zero, one, two. So 51 is in the second row, so that would be the index of one. And then next we need the column that the number is inside of. So zero, one, two, three. So that would be three, just like that, okay? So that's how that works. And then we'll go to inline here. So if we print it out, or if we try running this, it should print out 51 if we access it correctly. So let's see here. And there we go, we get 51, so that means we did it correctly. So the trick is whenever you're trying to access a multi-dimensional array, um, you just gotta do row by column, row first and then column next, okay? That's how you would access it. And of course it's zero based, so don't forget that also. And let's say, let's go ahead and try testing this out another time before we end this episode. Let's try changing the value of the three right here. So let's try accessing that. So we'll do uh, salamander, salamander, and we'll say, um, so that's gonna be in the third row, so it's gonna be zero, one, two, and then it's gonna be the second number, so zero, one, and then so salamander two, one is equal to, let's change it to 45. Oops, I spelled salamander wrong, I knew it. Okay, so there we go, now we'll just output the value of that to see if we changed it correctly. Um, okay, so then we'll do salamander, I spelled it wrong again, oops. Okay, let's try and type it without failing here. All right, so now we'll print it out, but let's try doing a before and after just to see what it looks like. So let's run this and see what we get. So first we get three because of course the initial value of salamander two one is gonna be three. And then when we change the value of salamander two one, um, it's now gonna be 45. Okay, so we print out and we get 45. So it worked perfectly, right? So hopefully that makes sense. That's how you access a um, a multi-dimensional array. All you gotta do is do the column first and then, or the row first and then the column, okay? Um, so just don't forget that. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's um, all we're gonna be using. That's all I'm gonna show you for multi-dimensional arrays. Um, as for using them, you might wanna use them maybe when you're working with matrices and like in math, I remember doing that in algebra. We have matrices, um, stuff like that. I don't really know, I haven't used them much. Um, in the real world after learning them. So we'll get to learning them. We'll get to using them in the future. Don't worry. There's always a use for something. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. So don't worry about that. Um, but if you have any questions about what I showed you today, just ask a question in the comment section below. I'll be glad to help you. And also, don't forget, all the code from today's episode is going to be in the description below. So make sure you click the link and then bookmark it for future use in, in case you forget how to use multi-dimensional arrays. So don't forget that. And then also, we have a Discord link in the description below. So make sure you join our Discord, hang out with us ask questions, whatever you want to do, just make sure you do that. And yeah, so if you like this video, leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.